Get ready to indulge in guilt-free, tangy sweet lemon bars. They're so good that it's hard to believe they have no gluten, butter, or eggs. They're also easy to make. To prepare the crust, add oats to a blender, followed by almonds, sea salt, cardamom, and cinnamon. The spices enhance the flavor of the crust. They won't taste strong. Blend on high until you have a fine meal. Add it to a bowl. Then add maple syrup and coconut oil. Mix until incorporated. Line a baking pan with parchment paper. We used one that is 8 by 8. You can also use a glass baking dish. Pour in the crust and pat it down with a spatula. Then press it down with a glass jar until it's level. This almond oat crust is the perfect base for the lemon curd. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for 15 minutes or until the top is lightly browned. While the crust cools, prepare the lemon curd. Wash the lemons well. Time to turn up the zest. We zested all four to get 2.5 tablespoons of zest. Cut the lemons in half and juice them to get about three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. We only needed three lemons. Add full fat coconut milk to a medium pot. This is much healthier than butter. Add the lemon zest and juice. The coconut milk will separate, but don't worry, that's okay. It will come together again. Add maple syrup and ground turmeric. It's not enough to make it taste too strong, but adds more color, plus it's super healthy. Add cornstarch and whisk. The mixture wasn't bright enough, so we added more turmeric and we added a pinch of salt. Cook on medium low. Stir constantly with a heat proof spatula. The spatula should touch the bottom to avoid burning the mixture. Make sure not to leave it, keep stirring. When it starts to thicken, it clears a trail like this. At this point it thickens very quickly, so you need to make sure to stir constantly. When it starts to bubble, remove the pot from the heat and immediately strain the curd onto the crust with the finest strainer you have. This is to remove the zest. Shake and tap the pan to even out the curd. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. The curd still jiggles, but it's firm. Let rest at room temperature for one hour. Then cover and refrigerate for at least two hours before serving. It's best if you can leave it overnight. Once it has cooled, remove from the tray by holding the parchment paper. Remove the paper. You'll see that there are little droplets of condensation on top. You should get rid of these by patting gently with a paper towel, as you'll be adding icing sugar. Now it's time to cut into bars. Trim the sides to make it even. After each time you slice, clean your knife with a wet paper towel so the curd doesn't stick. We slice ours into nine pieces. For more delicious recipes, you can subscribe to our channel. Sprinkle with icing sugar to decorate. This is optional, you can skip the sugar if you like. These bars have the perfect balance of tangy and sweet, and a crunchy, nutty-tasting crust. If you like this video, you might enjoy these too!